In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 8, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Indiana Pacers vs. Miami Heat On Wednesday, the Indiana Pacers go on a single-game road trip to play the Miami Heat in Florida. It's the fourth and final regular season contest between the two franchises. The Pacers have won and covered twice while the under hit in all three. Looking at the betting trends, the Pacers are 0-7 against the spread in their last seven road games, 1-7 against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a winning record, and 3-9 against the spread in their last 12 games overall. The Heat are 9-9 to 1 against the spread in their last 29 home games, 37 to 15 against the spread in their last 52 games playing on three or more days rest, and 1 to 4 against the spread in their last five games overall. Head to head, the under is 6 to 2 in the last eight meetings overall. The Pacers could be shorthanded as Chris Duart is listed as questionable, while the Heat have ruled out Kyle Lowry and Victor Oladipo once again. The Pacers have been mired in their worst slump of the season and their confidence took another hit after getting destroyed by the Cavaliers on Sunday. Day. The Heat have been a little below their best lately as they're dealing with key injuries, but they should be well rested as they haven't played since Saturday, so I'm expecting them to come out swinging here. The Pacers 0-7 against the spread in their last seven road games and I think that trend continues as the Heat get a much needed win at home. The under has hit in all three of the games these two teams have played so far this season. In recent games, the total has gone under in four of the last five for the Pacers and six of the last eight for the Heat, including five straight at home. Miami is average averaging the least points per game of any team in the league in large part due to their glacial pace. They're ranked 28th in the NBA in pace of play, which means there are fewer total possessions in their games, which mean fewer opportunities to score. They also hold opponents to the second lowest points per game. Indiana is ranked 4th in pace, but only 13th in points per game, a result of their poor shooting percentage. These two teams haven't combined for 222 or more points in their last eight games, and I think that trend will hold. With so many rotation pieces sitting out and the history of the matchups between these two teams, under the projected total is our full game total pick. San Antonio Spurs vs. Toronto Raptors This Wednesday, the San Antonio Spurs will travel to Toronto to take on the Toronto Raptors. Tip-off will be inside the Scotiabank Arena. This will be the second time that these two teams have matched up this season, as the Raptors won the last meeting, 143-100. The Spurs are coming into this one after falling to the Chicago Bulls, 128-104. They struggled on both ends of the court, as they will have to wake up on the road if they want to challenge the Raptors. The the Toronto Raptors are entering this game after taking down the Memphis Grizzlies, 106-103. They battled on the defensive end of the court, as they will have to stay aggressive in this one if they want to take down the Spurs at home. Looking at the betting trends, the Spurs are 0-4 against the spread in their last four road games, 0-4 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a losing record, and 0-8 against the spread in their last eight games overall. The Raptors are 5-1 against the spread in their last six home games, and 9-3 against the spread in their last 12 games playing on two days rest. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 9-3 in the last 12 meetings in Toronto and the Spurs are 0-4 against the spread in the last four meetings overall. The Spurs are shorthanded again as Jeremy Sachin, Devin Vassell are both out while Keldon Johnson is questionable. The Raptors have their own issues as Otto Porter Jr. and Og Ananobi are both still out. Toronto overcame a 15-point second half deficit to come back and defeat the Memphis Grizzlies on the road. Pascal Siakam scored 19 points, including a pair of free throws with 9 seconds left to ice the game, but they struggled with their shot for the most part. Fred Van Vili shot 6 for 19, and they have looked out of sorts at times on the offensive end. Thankfully, the tanking Spurs are in town to remedy any issues Toronto has offensively. The Spurs have been mired in their worst slump of the season and they just got blown away by the Bulls, so it's hard to imagine them bouncing back if they have even more players out injured. 
The Raptors have been building nicely and they will be feeling good after beating the Grizzlies in a thrilling comeback win on Sunday. The Spurs are 0-4 against the spread in the last four meetings overall and I believe that trend continues as the Raptors take care of business in this spot. So the Toronto Raptors to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Spurs are trotting out as bad of a lineup as any NBA team this season. Obviously, a tank to get the best chance at the top pick in next year's draft. They are still playing hard, but lack the talent to compete with the better clubs in the league. Toronto has struggled in a big way this year and will likely make big changes at the deadline. But they are still capable of putting a quality product on the floor and will jump at the opportunity to get another win. San Antonio comes in ranked 8th in pace of play, and considering some of Toronto's players could be playing for their job, they will be more than happy to increase the tempo. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Sacramento Kings vs. Houston Rockets A pair of teams in different situations in the Western Conference playoff picture take the floor to conclude a two-game set in the Lone Star State. The Sacramento Kings are on the road as they make the trip to take on the Houston Rockets Wednesday night. These teams met in the opening game of their two-game set on Monday night, with the Kings rolling to a 140-120 victory here in Houston, covering the line as a seven-point favorite in the process. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the Rockets own a 138 to 97 advantage but the Kings have won five straight meetings including each of the three contests that have taken place this season the Kings are 8 to 3 to 1 against the spread in their last 12 games playing on one day's rest the Rockets are 1 to 6 against the spread in their last seven Wednesday games and 7 to 19 to 1 against the spread in their last 27 games overall the under is 6 to 2 in Kings last eight overall the over is 5 to 1 in Rockets last six versus a team with a winning straight up record the Kings are 5 to 1 against the spread in the last six meetings in Houston and 5 to 0 against the spread in the last five meetings Sacramento looked great as they had their full complement of players back Monday. The Kings also proved they score from a litany of players. The Kings have shot the ball incredibly well this season, and they face off with one of the league's worst defenses. Houston has ball security issues, and when they do turn it over, they seem to have no urgency getting back to stop the ball. This was exhibited in the first game, and I expect to see multiple turnovers and fast breaks in this contest as well. Lastly, the Kings have also been able to regularly limit opponents to single shot possessions. The Rockets' struggling offense will further sputter with several single-shot possessions. This is a lot of points for the Sacramento Kings on the road, but they continue to win and cover numbers, and they win in the favorite role by an average of seven points. The Houston Rockets continue to look like a team that's in tank mode, and they're losing their last five games by an average of 10 points. So the Sacramento Kings to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This game flew over the total in the last game, and the line moved to respect that high total. That said, the Kings should also have no trouble scoring here, yet again, and they showed no desire to pump the brakes as they added 41 points in the fourth quarter alone. Houston has been strong in the paint and that's where the Sacramento defense has been most vulnerable. Houston also leads the league in offensive rebound rate and should be able to generate multiple second chance scoring opportunities here as well. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.